Hurt it. Huh, huh, huh. Mwah. Oh, that was Jeez. Bad. Oh, sick. And that's basically the new two sweet. Years from now, some yeah. other group's going to come along and they're going to steal it. I know they're going to. Oh, yeah. They're going to make it their own. Yeah. You can't. You yeah. can't. You're a, parody, you're a parody act, which yeah. you are a future stable that steals our like stuff. It's like NWO stole our shit. Shut the fuck up, bitch. So we're talking about the Young Bucks. Great tag team. They've traveled across the world and made a name for themselves as an attraction for modern wrestling. But the more I see the Bucks in AEW, the more I see them on TV every week, I notice one thing. The Young Bucks are kinda lame. Now look, I'm no Jim Cornette or anything, but I do realize when I see two dudes trying way too hard to be cool, edgy, or whatever you wanna call it. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down why I, me personally, think the Bucks are corny. The Bucks style of wrestling definitely isn't for everybody. Me personally, a cool high spot every now and then is pretty cool. Pretty impressive even, but not when it completely exposes professional wrestling and makes it a stunt show. Take the Elix Skipper cage spot for example. Huge crazy ass spot that was more of a stunt than a wrestling maneuver, but it was to my knowledge never been done before. Wasn't excessive and made sense in the context of the match. With a lot of buck spots, sure the Melter driver looks amazing the first time, but moves like these over and over will desensitize viewers and fans into seeing these big moves over and over and eventually won't be impressive. Also, I noticed another thing they do is that they always try to go first on pay-per-views so that way they'll have a hot crowd that's not tired so that way they can pop at every little thing they do. But again, this is subjective. Also, the constant mocking of other wrestlers in WWE. What the fuck was he holding? Like, what? Like, no thought. Well, hey. No thought went into that. Like, what is it? Oh, it's 24-7. So what do you put on it? 24-7. Like, no thought. Just, and, and you know what? Here's oh. another thing. Our titles are gonna look good. Shut the fuck up. Matt and Nick have had four tryouts in the WWE. In result, they didn't work out with the company. Not to mention how grimy WWE is to their talent behind the scenes. Trust me, I understand that the WWE is a pretty shitty operation when it comes to treating its wrestlers well. And a few shots to WWE might be justified. But at every opportunity, these little comments and jokes towards them at every chance they get without words and retaliation from WWE makes the Bucks, in AEW for that matter, look like that jealous ex that Salty you broke up with him. Hey, look, guys. I know you guys are, like, watching the match, you know, but, like, for television purposes, just trust me. I've done this a long time. It's better if you turn this way so they can see your body. Like this. You know what I mean? Turn okay. this way. It works for television purposes. It's okay. really good. Okay. Watch the monitor. They, they get a good profile oh shot. You know? You're right. It looks, you're kidding. It works well. Trust me. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Matt. This does feel uh, more natural. Let's talk about these dudes' appearance. Okay, look, remodeling your look for a heel turn is something that happens in pro wrestling all the time, like Undertaker, Eddie Guerrero, Malachi Black, and whatever the hell this was. But the Bucks look like they're playing dress up. Like, they're not rocking the outfits. Yeah, you can wear something that's like a jumpsuit, but it's, it's it, it doesn't hit the same when you're not rocking the outfit. You can tell they're playing a character. You might like the Jays, but can you really rock them though? That's that's not what they do. They they're not rocking the outfit. And don't get me started on the shoes. Remember when you were a kid at elementary school? Think way back, and you got a new Pokemon lunchbox. Lunchtime came around, and you wanted to show everybody in class your new lunchbox. Hey guys, I got the new Pikachu lunchbox. Oh shit, look at the Pikachu lunchbox. Shit like that, right? Well, that's the Bucks at age 32 and 36. Hey, look at our Dwarf Ones. Hey, the, look at these fucking Travis Scott, whatever the fucks. Hey, look at these goddamn, oh, these cost $10,000. Yeah, it's just corny. And look, I get it. They're trying to get heat. But when I guarantee you these are the guys that run the same Instagram page that post them at every opportunity, then it gets a little bit annoying. It's hard to put into words how if you're a wrestler not taking wrestling seriously, you look lame. This is the main issue with the Bucks for me. They're just goofy. Exposing the business through social media, their own platform, or even in the ring is a really dumb move in my opinion. Hardcore Bucks fans love them, and that's okay. But nine times out of 10, Bucks fans are smarts that like to tear apart the wrestling business today anyways. Before this little rant gets a little too long, and I go into complete hater territory, I just wanna say I don't hate or despise the Young Bucks. For what is worth, they are one of the top teams of this generation of wrestling, even by just a name standpoint. But their over-the-top antics, try-hard attitude, constant digs at people they don't like, saltiness towards their critics can be a tad overbearing. Let's see how they play out, especially with new faces coming into the company. Didn't like what I said? Well, leave your opinion in the comments below. And if you don't want to do that, your mom's a hoe.